what are the different career paths? What are the different options if I want to get into medicine? So be with me as I take you through the different options that you have. Getting into medicine is a very difficult process. And some of you might not get uh, into medicine directly from metric, but there are different options that you have in order to get into medicine. friends this is dr t and thank you for joining me today today i want to speak to you about alternative career path into medicine this video is important for anybody who could not get into medicine directly or who wants to get into medicine and wants to know what are the different career paths, what are the different options if i want to get into medicine so be with me as i take you through the different options that you have getting into medicine is a very difficult process and some of you might not get uh, into medicine directly from metric, but there are different options that you have in order to get into medicine. But before I get into the presentation, as usual, if you are not yet a subscriber of this channel, I encourage you, make sure that you click on the subscribe button and click that red button in order to subscribe. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you've got any question about anything that I present on this video or any other video that is on the channel make sure that you put your question on the comment section below this video and if you are enjoying any part of the video or you've got any comment make sure that you put it also on the comment section your feedback is helpful to help me understand uh, what we're enjoying about the video how the video impacts you and that helps me to do other related video so make sure that you put your comment section and also make sure that you share this video with as many people as possible so that we can spread the weight and ensure that many people get the information about the alternative career path into medicine so let's get into the options that you have first of all i want you to know that you can get into medicine by applying to one of the 10 medical institutes that we have in South Africa. I think in South Africa we've got about 26 institutes, but not all of them have got medicine. So there are about 10 institutes in South Africa that have got medicine, and you can apply to any of them when you are still at metric in order to get into medicine. But if you could not get directly, these are the alternative career path that you can consider. Number one, I want you to look at the University of Pretoria it has different options that you can consider that will lead you into medicine and you can actually get that information on their uh, university website there's a link i'm going to put it below this video which can lead you into those documents directly from the website i prefer you get them directly from the website because at least you know that you have got the right document these documents can be updated annually uh it happens that they do some changes so make sure that you get the one that is on the website i'm giving you this link so that it can lead you directly into their website so that you've got the correct document that's the most important thing make sure that you've got correct document that is why i'm putting the link below this video to lead you into that particular uh, document that i'm referring to so to access the document all you have to do uh go to the up website so this is the University of Pretoria website. When you get to the website, make sure that you go to faculties and choose the faculty of health sciences. Choose the faculty of health sciences. And when you get there, go to, don't click any of this. There's a part here where it speaks about selection criteria for 2022 for 2023. So obviously if it's 2024, they're going to have a different year. Click here and it will lead you into the different uh faculty books so come to the one about medicine and this is the document that you want to uh review so check this document it will give you all the information if you have seen this video post 2023 obviously the year will have changed and they will write 2023 to 2024 or whatever year that will be relevant for you so make sure that you've got the correct document here which speaks about the selection for the year that you are planning to apply for so this is the document i'm referring to it has all the information that i've shared with you so make sure that you have got the correct 
document so i'm going to just leave the link there that will lead you into this particular side of the website but at least you know how to access the website so that you can be able to access this particular information now let's look at the university of pretoria so university of pretoria has got a different selection categories so you will see here on the selection categories they've got uh, various categories that uh, they focus on when they are doing the selection the first level they focus on the school leavers category these are students who are coming directly from matric and they are saying include those who have taken a gap year and had no university experience the other word they use will be the f tens or first entering students these are students who are entering the university for the first time they've never been at the university so in this particular category they've got the first category where it's an open category where all students from every background every demographic group they compete for space into up applications and the second category these are the first entering students who do not get directly into medicine but they get enrolled for bsc biological sciences the first semester they consider them i mean those who are at up will know you have students who are doing biological sciences in the first semester but you find second semester that are enrolled into the medical program and then you have got so even if you are not selected if you can get into the biological sciences you are actually increasing your chances of being selected either in the first semester or at the end of the year i will show you another category and then the third option that you have as a school leaver is that there's what they call a designated group these are basically groups from previously disadvantaged uh, uh demographic groups so you compete in your own category alone in order to be given chance so these are basically they look there black african and colored students they only look at students from that particular category you compete alone in that category and you might also get selected now there's another option now these are for previous university experience these are for people who have been at a university for at least a year they have their own category the first category is open category for all applicants uh who wants to uh, who have been at the university all applicants with university experience first compete here and they want full academic record in order to be able to calculate your score and then they also like with the previous category they've got designated group these are previously disadvantaged group they compete here alone black africans colored africans they compete here alone in this particular category so if you miss being selected on category three you can compete on category three and then you also have what you call category seven category 17 focus on those who have been in the extended program at the university of pretoria mamilodi campus so the university preserves space for those who belong to them who have done the bsc extended program one year or the full program whatever level that you have done provisional selection is made after semester first semester successful candidate will be admitted into the first day medical program so this is what they have for their own student within uh, that university so remember if you are in any other program you can also apply and be considered in either category three or also category nine as well and they also have the what they call provincial representation or applicants sponsored by sndf these are the military so you can also apply through the military and they've got space that they reserve for people who come through the military process i think friends this is this is this is a a a, a good option particularly for those who want alternative uh, entrance into medicine you could see the categories the chances of you being selected are very high not only that they allocate space for each of this category and i'm going to look at that now for example i wanted you to look at for example look at now the space allocation for each category you could see that for school leavers they've got 77 places school leavers designated group those are the one previously disadvantaged they've got uh, a, a 78 that they select and those from mid-year these are the first semester who completed first semester in bsc within up first entrance they take 30 and then also uh category three these are the ones with the university experience they take 45 looking at your academic record and the university experience designated group demographic 
uh, black Africans and colors, they take 35. And those who did the Mamelodi Campus BSc program, they take top, uh, they've got 25 places uh, for high performing student. And then from the S, A, and D, F, they take 10. In total, they take overall 300 students. The good thing about the university experience is that when you have a degree, you could see that there are bonus points for every level of qualification. So when you've got a degree, you've got one bonus point. When you've got an honors, we've got one master's, we've got one uh, master's degree with higher percentage, 65 and above. You've got two plus master's degree with a distinction. You've got three plus PhD, you've got uh, plus three. So you could see that actually when you've got postgraduate, your chances of being selected are even higher because you get a bonus point for every level of qualification that you have and also when you are at the master's level for the percentage that you get you also get additional points i think friends this is one of the best alternative option that you can consider if you want to be selected into medicine and you will see in comparison to other institutes that i'm going to show you are uh, in south africa up take you directly into first year regardless of your background they take you directly into the first year medical program it differs from other institute like uct and vets as i'm going to show you now the second option i will move to the university of cape town uct uct also has got a program they take you into the second year program they take you into the second year program and I want to show you how to access that information. Unfortunately, I, I contacted U, UCT. They don't have, uh, you know, it, it doesn't give you enough information, you know, and they're very email orientated. Uh, you don't get much information, but they have a program where they can take you directly into second year when you have a degree, when you have got a qualification. This is not the F10s. These are the people who have got a degree, a qualification. They can take you directly into the second year program. So when you are at the UCT uh, website, uh, go to study with UCT and go to uh, faculties. Let's go to the faculty of health sciences. When you get to the uh, faculty, go to admission, uh, undergraduate, uh, go to admission and go to eligibility process when you get to the eligible eligibility process you will see that they've got mbchb and they've got they tell you in the admission requirement please review undergraduate prospectus they give you the pages that's where you need to click so you go directly to those pages and then they will show you all the information regarding the different programs and the requirements. So you will see there, they give you the requirements about medicine and you can read that particular document. It will give you all the information. And then at the end of this information, you will see here, they speak about admission directly to second year MBCHB of the tertiary, of the tertiary application meeting specific requirements and they tell you that a small number of graduates who have completed either approved undergraduate or postgraduate may be offered a place in the second year provided you have received a firm offer uh, there is a class capacity and have met the tertiary application so all you have to do you send this information you send information here and they will be able to send the information but like i say uh I've sent an information there. I've sent the email. I communicated with the uh, with the person, and uh, I couldn't give them a call. I don't think I, I get a sense they're not allowed to take calls. I'm not sure, but you can try that. But the gist of the matter is that UCT has got an option where if you've got a degree, a postgraduate, a qualification, a degree, you can be able to start medicine at the second year level. I think then when you move from UP, UP they take you the first year with a degree, UCT can take you at the second level. And the last one, which I think this is the best in terms of alternative career path within South Africa, if you did not get into medicine directly, is the VET, VIT VATES RENT JEMP program. So, I want you to get into this one. Vid Vates Rand Jump. 
graduate entry medical program i have spoken about this uh previously and i don't want to waste your time on it i just want to refer you to the video that i have done so go and check this video i elaborate on it i explain it i give you all the details that you need to know about this particular program the graduate entry program this one they take you directly to the third year level of medicine if you've got a degree particularly in bsc and you've got the correct subject so in the video i explain which subjects are crucial to get into medicine so make sure that you check out that particular video so i hope friends you have enjoyed and you will take advantage of these opportunities i think if you want to get into medicine you've got a degree the best is the gem program i recommend that because at least they're taking you you only do medicine for fourth year i think it's going to be too much for you to start at first year to do medicine when you've got a phd a master's and honors i think it might take you too long but when there are no other option you do what you have to do thank you friends i hope you have enjoyed this video and it will be able to help you when you look for alternative career path and you'll be able to apply and get admitted to medicine so these are the options that are available and i hope that you use them so that your options of being selected can be increased and then you explore some of this option that i've given you before i close if you have not yet subscribed make sure that you click on the subscribe button below this video make sure that you click on the red subscribe button subscribe and if you like the video give it a thumbs up and if you've got any question regarding what i presented or any other video that you see on this channel make sure that you put the question below on the comment section even if you've got no questions but you want to comment you like something about the video please put your comment below so that i can know what you liked about this video your comments helps me to know what other video do i need to do in order to help you with some of the questions that you might help so enjoy and continue living a fulfilling life.